I just wanted to try and improve my uh, my physical conditioning. Also, like leaning down my um, my body fat, and also just um, working on my first step and my strike. I feel like as a long returning starter, you feel like the unofficial leader of this group. Uh, yeah, I feel like I am. Um, I try to like lead by example for the most part, making sure I go to class, to take my vitamins, and I'm making sure I'm on time for like all the meetings and stuff. And I also like try to like perfect my uh, my craft and individuals, so hopefully that the young defensive tackles can like follow me. Kind of break down the nose tackle room for us. You know, you and I guess Chops and Mo is, is Drake Carlson working some of those as yeah, well. Yeah, Drake Carlson working some of those. Uh, um, all four guys are working extremely hard right now, um, especially Mo. He is uh, he has a very high motor, and he's probably one of the best pass rushers on the team. And, and uh, he, he helps he helps he helps me get uh, work hard too. And also Chops, he is a young guy. Drake Chops and Drake, they're young guys. Um, try, um, they're working hard too, making sure that their that their steps are getting better, and also that they are improving every single day. Just like the good old days, teaming up with Jerry on the on the edge again. Yeah, it is. Uh, I love that guy so much. Uh, he, he was with me at the 2019 state championship team, and he was one of the big reasons why we won that game. And uh, I appreciate him being here. What do you think of the Carmel Mafia you got here? I mean, can you name all your Carmel teammates? Uh, yeah, sure. Um, it's Ethan Trent, Will Helt, uh, Winston Berglund. We got Jaiwa too. We usually have Dylan, but um, he's he's back. He's out um, Miami, Ohio, but I still talk to him here and there. And uh, Ty Wise, he's also at Miami, Ohio, so I still talk to him there. I know a lot. Of, I know a lot of guys from from my old team, and I love being here. I love playing with them. So um, the chemistry is already there. So got nothing to fix there. How much more comfortable are you going into year two in this system? Uh, a lot more comfortable, um, knowing that uh, that essentially the only thing I really have to do is um, step straight. So if I just like perfect stepping straight, then I'm I'll be working good. What do you think your best asset is as a nose tackle? Um, well, be me and my size. I am very difficult to move, and I'm, but I'm also very like um, athletic enough. And I'm also been doing um, like hot stretching and hot yoga, so I'm like, getting more flexible too, moving faster. So I'm making sure. So as long as I just like plug the a gap, my backside a gap, and I make sure nobody like runs into my gap, then um, pretty good. Do you have a yoga mat and a yoga outfit? Yeah, I mean, I don't have a yoga outfit, but I have a yoga mat and a Hotworks um, uh, membership, so I go there every single weekend. What's your favorite yoga pose? Downward dog? If I'm being honest, none of them. <laughs> but but uh, I'm, I'm working to get better at them. <laughs> I mean, what, what can we expect from this defense? I know um, nobody like, wants to have a losing record again. What, what, what can fans expect to see from this defense 2024 goal? To suspect us to be competitive, tough, and disciplined, getting ready to fly to the ball, uh, making sure that the offense can't get any yardage, and um, making sure that we are one of the top statistical defense in the country, and we got to live by that standard every day. Hey, just real quick back to yoga. What is it you get out of the yoga? Um, I just get... Well, obviously with the yoga, you do like flexibility, get the to work done. But I also like have like a clearer mind. So like even like when you're like tired and like I'm in a hot sauna, like I'm still thinking about all the poses and thinking about what I'm doing and why I want to do this. And also take some time to like meditate and get into my inner being.